hold on. I got. I got to. I got to test my audio really quickly. I'm kind of hoping if I use the microphone on my headphones, it'll cut out the sound of the fans in the room because there's a lot of them on. All right, we're just gonna have to deal with me awkwardly having my hand like this because, guys, I cannot turn off my AC. I cannot do it. It is almost a hundred degrees where I live, um, and I have always kind of wanted to do a video like this. I just haven't. And while I am having to sit here and like film myself do like a reaction commentary thing to my own video, um, I will say that it doesn't take me very long to do my makeup if I'm not talking while doing it. So it was like do my makeup and then do this or like sit here for three hours doing my makeup because sometimes it can take me a really long time because i really enjoy fucking off uh but let uh, i let me know if you enjoy this because i've always wanted to do something like it and i just never have i just want to let everybody know that i'm kind of panicking right now because i just realized with the program that i'm using i basically have to one shot this I basically have to one shot this and also I forgot to tell you what I'm doing um I decided that I was going to be a hot shot today and that I was going to use three different primers because I was so absolutely confident that I was going to have this new primer that or not primer setting spray that I was going to be using that I was like okay like I'm just going to use like 20 million fucking primers and I used the uh, Nick's Bear With Me, and then I used the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip Primer, and then I used the e.l.f. Uh, Putty Primer shit, because I was like, oh, it'll be fine. Like, we've got this new uh, thing that we can rely on. Do we? <laughs> like, do we, bitch? Uh, we're going to find out. So, anyways, um, it's too hot for me to be doing my makeup for you know three hours uh without any kind of ac or fan or anything like that on so i just decided to do this i decided to try this out and i'm completely forgetting to tell you what i'm using oh my god i'm completely forgetting to tell you what i'm using so i used nick spear with me uh 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 um elf power grip primer which i found a container of in my little makeup box underneath of my desk um you know thinking hoping praying that uh it's not expired and i'm not gonna wake up tomorrow with like some kind of fucking growth on my face for it um and uh the elf power grip primer and then i use maybelline matte and poreless and then i used revolution blah 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 Look, I set all my makeup to the side so that I could, like, be ready and be prepared. And, like, oh, my God. Okay, so here I am using this fucking concealer. This is one of the new concealers that I got yesterday on sale at Walmart for 3 bucks. I had one that I bought that I absolutely knew was going to be perfect because it was beige. It was a beige shade. I knew it was going to be fucking perfect. Couldn't get it open. The lid is stuck on it. It will not come off. It will not come open. So I decided to use one of the other ones that I got. Put it on. The shit is so yellow that I was like, okay, I've ruined my makeup. I've ruined my makeup. And listen, I had no expectations sitting down to do this makeup. My expectations were, I just hope that I come out at the end looking fine. I hope that I come out in the end looking all right. Um, so basically they were in hell. And I thought, okay, well, I've already fucking ruined my makeup. And then I went ahead and I put on my Maybelline baking powder and just hoped for the best. But guys, when I tell you that my soul left my fucking body, my soul left my body a little bit. The second that that shit hit my skin and I realized what it looked like, because let me tell you something, makeup caters to like warm skin. There's like barely anything out there for cool skin tones. And apparently that's what I bought was something for warm skin, even though I didn't know it. And then, and now I'm using, ah, uh, shit, uh, LA Girl Brow Pomade. And I, for some reason, couldn't find my favorite eyebrow pencil. I'm running out of breath, bitch. I'm running out of breath. I have asthma. I'm not meant for one shot videos. I'm not meant for this shit. I'm not meant for this shit. And I also have a snotty nose, so I'm like fighting going <laughs> the whole time. Anyways, what the hell was I talking about? 
I can't remember. I, for some reason, decided to use my NYX uh, Lift and Snatch brow shit because I couldn't find uh, my favorite eyebrow thingy brush to, like, do my eyebrows the way that I've been doing them to match my blonde wig. And then also remembered that, like, all of my hair brushes are downstairs and I needed, like, severely, severely needed to brush out my fucking um, blonde wig because let me tell you something, bitch. That wig at this point is looking like something that a child uses to, like, role play Rapunzel. It's looking like a four-year-old's Walmart aisle you know, Disney costume. So it definitely needs to be brushed. And my ass was like, if I go downstairs, the will to do this is going to be knocked right the hell out of me. So I just decided to use my lift and snatch. I swear to you, if somebody calls me and distracts me, I'm just going to lay down and cry. Anyways, here I am using Milani primer. And like I said, expectations for this look are in hell. I have none. I have no explanation or explanation expectations whatsoever. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just sitting down and doing it. And all I knew was that I wanted some, some of that shit on the bottom of my eye, but I didn't want to stab myself with my finger. So I was like trying to put it on there with the brush. And guys, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Every day, every day I stab myself in the eye with something, with my nail, with an eyeliner, with a makeup brush, with mascara. Every time I put on mascara, and I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, I stab the shit out of myself, but I can't learn how to do contacts, and I don't know why. So anyways, here I am, putting on my profusion shit, because of course I am not really knowing where I'm going with this. Didn't know if I wanted to do my Uncle Fester thing or no. Guys, I'm struggling to breathe. I need my inhaler, I think. I don't know. I think I don't know. Anyways, at this point, I'm just kind of going with it. Just kind of trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing because I legitimately don't know. Decided to do the Uncle Fester thing. Uh, put a little bit. Of, you know what I saw somewhere? I don't know if it was Instagram or Facebook. With It was like, is your under, is your under uh, eye eyeshadow and mascara aging you? Or could it be that I'm organic matter and I am rotting? Could it be that I'm organic matter and I'm rotting and that is what's causing me to age? Could it be that I will be 35 in two months? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the 18th of June, so two months and one day I'll be 35. Maybe that's what's aging me. Random person on... Instagram that wasn't actually specifically talking to me, but I felt attacked because I wear under eye eyeshadow and mascara and it's probably aging me. You know what? Listen, suck my ass. Anyways, I decided to do the Uncle Fester thing with brown eyeshadow because of course, and I don't think that anybody is going to be surprised when I say that I almost wore silver, but I was like, you know what? I, I, it feels like a little much right now and when truthfully all that I'm gonna do when I get when I get done filming this video is upload it see what my kids are doing and then if they're having one of those moments where they're like okay you know because they're 11 and 13 I I, I, I I think I'm gonna come back upstairs and play Sims and I was like I want my Sims to go party at a club I don't want to look like I'm gonna go party at a club I would rather look like I got punched in the face after the club so that's what we're doing here um, I'm using revolution slick flick on my eyes and I can't breathe <gasps> anyways uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, I was going on a rant about Sims, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to make a genera I'm trying to make a generations like thing. I'm trying to like have my Sim like build her life and make fortune make a fortune and like have a baby and stuff, but she's like accidentally really toxic. Like all of my Sims are, she's like accidentally toxic. Like 
I don't know why, but every time I play, I'm like, I, I just go straight for Willow Creek and build a house, and then I just go straight to the Blue Velvet to try to make friends, and then Daryl's always there fucking dancing like an idiot, and I become friends with him, and then my Sim always ends up sleeping with him, and then he always ends up giving her crabs. Well, this is the first game I've ever played where he's done it twice. He's done it twice. He's given it to her twice, and the bitch still talks to him. Am I in control of her? Yes. Am I slightly hoping he will be her baby dad and they can have a magical baby together? Yes. Also, I'm using Wet n Wild's uh, breakup proof eyeliner underneath there. Am I secretly hoping that he'll give her a, a spellcaster baby? Yeah, kind of. Um, did he invite me over to his house and he was with his... I don't know if they're married yet or not. And I was like, oh my god! But to be fair... I do have Wicked Whims installed in everybody's polyamorous and able to marry multiple people and date multiple people without jealousy. There's no jealousy in my game, even though I know that's unrealistic and people that are polyamorous still get jealous. Anyways, um, I'm using the Essence I Heart Extreme, blah, 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 the $3, $5, whatever it is, mascara that it took me like 1,200 years uh, to go to Ulta to find because Ulta is like 20 minutes from my house and it's in a part of town that I don't like to drive in. Anyways, that's the timeline going on with my Sims. And listen, I have base metal drugs. I have base metal drugs um, installed in my game. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make, she's going to be a nectar maker because you can make a lot of money making nectar. I didn't realize that when you install base mental, that that meant that you also had to get yeast whenever you're making your nectar. And I was like, well, this is enough to make me fucking uninstall it. Because usually if you're just pay, you're playing with a, with a ranch pack, you don't have to do that. You just grow the fucking grapes, you grow the strawberries, you make the nectar, you sell it, you make a huge profit. I didn't realize that having base mental installed was going to complicate things so anyways that's that's been my life um since yesterday is just also i usually cut out me doing my mascara because it takes me so fucking long to do it it's like a solid two minutes uh this is me dusting off my shit and uh being very relieved that while it does look super matte i don't feel crusty um i think did i cut out me opening the pack this is me trying the new NYX bronzer and honestly because I'd never used it before I never used a formula before I didn't know what to expect and I feel like I used a little too much but I compensated for it kind of okay-ish I do like over exaggerated shit so it was like bad but not that bad and also I'm like not trying I'm trying to like accentuate my face and not like necessarily give myself like that's like sun kiss look that you know people use bronzer for if i wanted to do that i would just go outside for an hour um but and this is me using the new blush and actually i really really do love it like don't get me wrong i really really do love it but i had never used it before and i was not used to the formula so i was like shocked i was like taken back a little bit by like how pigmented it was and like this is coming from me this is coming from me this is coming from somebody that uses a blush that is extremely pigmented and very dark i was not prepared for that and, but i cut it down a lot with the nyx i think it's called can't stop won't stop i had never tried it before but the reason that i bought it was because i wanted to use it to do things like this like cut back like soften up my my blush soften up my bronzer um help if my makeup ends up a little too dark for my face uh shit like that and i think it did well and then this is the lottie diamond bounce and i used a lot of it guys i have some highlighter haters that follow me people are just like i think it looked fine before the highlighter i don't think you need the highlighter i do i'm stuck in 2016 i do need highlighter i do need it whether I think whether whether that's a, like a fact or not I feel like I have to have it or I just feel like incomplete without it and I love highlighting my nose like I love my whole group of friends that I used to be friends with um used to be like my god like one time I was pulling this is profusion glitter liner one time I was pulling out of my driveway and one of them texted me they were sitting on my porch watching me and they texted me and they were like my god the sun was shining off your fucking nose like you were Rudolph 
and it's like cool anyways i mixed uh the like the brown gold in this eyeshadow with the silver of the glitter and i wasn't really sure at first if i liked it or like how good or bad it looked but then i realized fuck it because i put gold or silver I or silver glitter with everything no matter what the eyeshadow is I put silver glitter with it so like who gives a shit and this is me gluing on my eyelashes that I kind of wish I would have I, I kind of wish I would have cut them a little bit more because the ends are a little droopy but whatever I'd rather have them be a little too long than a little too short because I can't do anything if I cut them too short and I don't look good in Demi Wispies I don't look good in Demi Wispies. I, I kind of look like a possessed doll. So I, and not in a good way, not in a cute way, not in a good way. So I would rather them be too long, at least that way next time I can salvage them. It's just the ends were a little too, were a little too droopy for me. And have I been saying what I've been using? I feel like I have. Anyways, did I tell you guys that that was the new NYX, um, blush that I use and this is elf eyeliner that has gone the true pipeline down to being black lip liner usually I would like speed this up a lot more but I needed a chance to just get my bullshit out I needed a chance to just because we're coming up here in a second on true heartbreak we're coming up in a minute we're I'm going to experience true heartbreak and it's going to be the funnest thing this is Milani um matte satin in the shade leather and also i use wet and wild i think it's the late night done right uh gloss. i it was it a fucking fever dream that that shit broke was it a fever dream that that shit broke because i swear a couple of months ago i vlogged me breaking it and being like i'm devastated that i have broke my fucking lipstick and there i am using it i I am pretty, and I don't think that I had to. I'm pretty sure that I didn't have to. Anyways, we're coming up on heartbreak, and the heartbreak is, this shit doesn't work. I wanted it so bad. I wanted it so bad. It doesn't work, and Epps offered to take it back for me. I don't know where the receipt is, so... This is me experiencing true heartbreak and then just deciding to use the Lottie, which turned out fine. I just had to shake the ever-loving piss out of it to get it to stop it from leaving like the weird film on my face i just had to shake the shit out of it my god i could i could have sped this up anyways that's the whole look uh bye <laughs>